All right, welcome everyone. I am wandering off and we are playing Final Fantasy 11 online. Um, we are playing my tune wandering and right now we're currently going through as a monk and we're trying to get through um, level one to 99 without dying. Um, and along the way we're reading the um, stories and stuff we run into out loud and um right now we are level 25 i believe so we're not very far we just got started um we're going to be focusing on leveling for the most part in these earlier episodes um and try to get most of the leveling grind out of the way and then um you know, we'll do missions and um, everything. There's a few missions we are going to have to do um, because of the way the game works. Um, they There's points where you have to have certain items to do something and you get those items through the missions. So... Um, for now, what we're going to do is we're going to get in the game and we are level 25, so jump on. And so, um, let us see. Yeah, we're level 25. Our combat skill is at 65, our hand-to-hand. -hand. And we have, we got another 100 points from our login. So that means we can get another trust, um, from our login so um we're also at our playtime is nine hours 34 minutes and 59 seconds so um what we're gonna do in this video is because it won't take very long is we're going to do the very first Bastok mission um let us check um we have an instant warp since we don't know how long like um the signet um it does last a while but i would recommend every time you log in to just get a refresh and so in order to get missions um you can get them from different guards. However, we're going to choose Cleeds because this is, you know, like we've got Izakoth here, we've got Eggsley here, we've got Rabid Wolf, you know, and so we might as well just stick right in this area because it's nice and easy. And so we're going to talk to Cleeds. Cleeds, I'm in charge of assigning missions to Bass Doctors who wish to serve their country. Are you one of them? Um, have you come to undertake a mission? So, yes I have, no, maybe later. Later. So, yes I have. Good. This is your first time going on a mission, is it not? Your first assignment is not a difficult one. The de details are as follows. You must go to the Zern Mines in the western section of the Mines District. Once there, you are to collect a report from the Overseer. <clears throat> you can consult the mission section of the main menu to review your objectives. Speed and efficiency are your priorities. Dismissed. Okay, so we have accepted this mission. Now, um, I realize that this is very self-explanatory. Um, it's not too complicated however um as i said we're going to be following 
the walkthrough from the bgwiki.com. And so, since this is our first Bass Dock mission, what we want to do is pull up our wiki um, and we will go through it. So, the mission we are, the missions, because there's different um, sets of missions we've already seen in the very first episode, we saw one of the Rhapsodies of Vanadil missions. Um, there's other missions. Um, and since we're starting in Bastok, we're going to click Bastok. And it will be category Bastok missions. Um, the Republic of Bastok. And then um, on this page, it gives us the rank. And we can see all of that it gives us the number the mission name the type the reward and it, um then we've already read this section from our missions um if you do not meet the rank point requirement to start the next mission you can trade crystals to one of the conquest guards to increase your rank points until you meet the required amount all right so that's the only thing that was different. We've read this part. Um, so we just wanted to read this part to see if there was anything new. And so since we're in Bastok, we want to do the Bastok missions. Um, if you're in, you know, Sandoria, you want to do the Sandorian missions. And if you um, are in Windurst, you want to do the Windurst missions. And so we're going to click um, since we're rank one, we want to do one dash one, the Zern report. So we're going to click on it and Bastok mission one dash one, the Zern report series none starting NPC, any Bastok gate guard title none repeatable. No description. Collect oversee your Macarum's report from the Zern Mines in the western section of the Bastok Mines District. Deliver said reports to Sir Naji, a musketeer station near the President's office. So our previous mission was none because this is our very first one. The next mission is a geological survey. And our rewards will be rank points. And so our walkthrough. Select a mission from one of the Bastok gate guards. Head to the Zern Mines. Speak to Macarum in Zern Mines at H11 for the Zern report. Speak to Naji in the Metalworks J8 for a cutscene and to complete the mission should you examine the Zern report key item Naji will chastise you it does not seem to affect the mission though and so um like I said the very first ones are kind of self-explanatory so um but we're going to be that's the way we're going to pre presenting them M most likely i'll be in this one i ended up accepting the mission but most of the time we'll just be standing by the guard and i'll read through it and then we'll accept the mission so um now um i want to point out if you are new to the game um if you have if you are on this mission and you have 200 gil, um, you want to come over here, um, and you want to go down this way, and go down this stairway, um, and come over to Karen. I mean, I know in a previous video we got maps, but, um, in case you haven't gotten any maps yet, you can talk to Kurt, Karen. And um, if you have 200 gil, you can buy the Zern 
um, Mines map. And so that's where she is at H9. Um, you open the map. She's right in this area. So it's just straight over and then down this little curve and right there. And you can just, if you have 200 gil, um, I would recommend it. Um, now, I'm not saying that the map is actually needed. Um, you can do it just fine without the map um, to go get the, collect the report. But the option is there if you have the 200 gil, you can just grab the map. And so what we want to do now We've accepted the mission, so we're going to go to the Bastok Mines, um, oops, travel, and then current region, Bastok Mines, and, um, yeah, we'll go to, the closest home point is the auction house, so we'll go to there, <coughs> and then, um, We will walk over to the mines. So you can walk behind the auction house if you wish. And see the Unity chat. Sometimes it says that we, um, that it's full sometimes it says that it's open i don't know i don't understand their unity chat thing because one minute i'll be able to chat in it and like a second later it's like sorry unity chat's full so um anyway the mine um if you look at the map this is the zern mines and so you just want to circle right here and enter and then um, if you have the map it will look like this if you have not bought the map you won't be able to see anything it will just be a blank slate so um, that's your option um, like I say, you don't need the map in particularly. It is nice to have, but you should be able to get through it without any issues um, if you don't. All right. So one thing I want to mention. See these dingbats? These bats and anything up here, um, like there should be some... Um, There should be some crabs up here somewhere. Yeah, the river crab. So the river crab and the dean bats, you can kill. Um, you know, you if you're coming here and um, you can kill those. They are your level and it's fine you're able to kill them. However, once you get down... When you start going down this path, um, so we came in here and we're going to go down here. Anything up here is killable at your level. But once you start going down this um, path, um, like, so we want to select a bat. Um, the colliery bat seems incredibly tough. It seems to have a high evasion and defense. Um, do not um, try to attack these bats. They f fly around and they'll leave you alone as you're walking. And um, you want it that way. Um, if you attack those bats, you are going to probably regret it. Because they are much, much higher level than you are. Um, 
they're level 75 through level 80. So, um, be certain to just walk, um, through the zone and forget about the fighting any of these bats and anything in this area, um, <laughs> because it will kill you, um, so that's just a word of advice, um, we want to, oops, there's a dead end. And so, at least they're non-aggressive. It'd be funny if they sent us to this place and these things were aggressive. Um, that would be painful. <laughs> so, that is just a word of caution. Um, if you've never been here before, make sure you don't try to attack them. Um, so this is Macarum where and we're at h11 so if you look at our map at the very end of the mine right here so you just come from here and you go all the way down and then come this way follow this wall um once you get here you want to go this way because there's a dead end on this path so you want to go this way and go around and come here and you'll run right into her so it's pretty simple even without a map you should be able to find it McCarum ah oh, you must be the courier I've been expecting you my report is ready be careful on your way out remember you should give my report to Najee one of the mithril musketeers on post at the president's office so now we have the key item Zern report so we'll go to key items, um, temporary CERN report, examine CERN report. The Galka, our main worker workforce, seem to suffer from low morale. As indicated by their recent insubordination, they seem to have found new hope in the return of their tellkeeper, who disappeared 30 years ago, Overseer Markham. McCarum, sorry. Um, and then you can choose to, um, instant warp out of here, or you can walk whichever you prefer. Um, it is faster to instant warp, but it's just as easy to walk out. So, um, that can be your tall. So we'll walk out just, um, Again, you should not run into anything that's going to aggro in this mine. Um, so, you should be fine unless you decide to punch um, one of the bats or something. <laughs> and then you'll regret it. Um, so you can... Make certain that... Um, you make it out of here alive. Um, and so that's the first part of the mission is gathering the report. And then once we get to a home point, we will finish the mission. Pretty much. Um, and that's. Again now we're up here. Where these ding bats are. And we can. At our level we can kill them. Um, you know at the. Lowest possible level you can kill. You should be able to kill the ding bats. And be fine. Um, but don't. Kill, don't try killing the bats. Down. The other side huh that is my advice and um then 
we just go find our um home point and again Najee can be found in the metalworks um on the top floor so you'll it's best to just use home point one and call it good and So, Bastok, Metalworks, 1.1. 1 .1. There, there's Naji. This area is off limits too. Oh, you've brought the report from the Zern mines. I'll take that. This was your first mission, wasn't it? Good work. Normally we... Sir Lucius, how may I help you? Lucius. Naji, you mentioned a report? Yes, sir. This adventure just brought the last one. I was going to bring them all to you later, sir. Show it to me. So, more and more Dalka are starting to believe in their Tellkeeper's return. The Tellkeeper, sir? But I thought that was just some Dalka myth, sir. If that were only true, I'd, I've received reports that the Tellkeeper is already back among them. These reports keep bringing them to me, Naji. We would not want to bother the President with such trivial matters. Yes, sir. As for you, I know you have not been in Bastok long, so I will give you some advice. It is neither customary nor polite to open sealed documents prior to their delivery. Remember that if you wish to stay in Bastok. Wow, not many people get to speak to Sir Lucius after their first mission. He must see something in you. Keep up the good work. And after that... That is the end of the mission. Um, I want to check something. Objective. So. Alright. So the dailies reset. And. Um. Now, again, we have this log, or, you know, the model that gives us, or is letting us purchase, um, oops, purchase, um, alter egos. So, we just got a hundred points. <clears throat> So we might as well go and grab another alter ego, just so we have it. Um, you really want to collect all the alter egos, that's the best option. Um, so, let us see. Um, the one thing I wish they would do is after you bought, um, an alter ego, 
I wish they would make it so you'd know on here, like they'd have it grayed out so you'd know you had bought it. Because it can be very easy to buy one that you already have. Um, let's go with Cypher Ulgor's Alter Ego. Cypher Ulgor's Alter Ego. A scroll inscribed with strange symbols that steal away the poisons that seal away the poisons of an evil demon king named Ulgor. Chain Chanting the enigmatic script summons his alter ego to the bear's side. So, um, Cypher of Uligor's alter ego costs 100 points. Purchase his prize. So, yes. Um, wait one short second while I get your goods. And now we have that. Now we need to go to the exit. Um... Port pass talk exit. And then um we will trade to Clarion Star So trade and I can't believe that you got your hands on a cipher of Uligor's alter ego. Amazing. I'll let you in on something. The trust initiative is being spread beyond the five races with some very interesting results. Just let me analyze this data for a... What do you mean, hurry up? Close your eyes and go to your happy place, where trust and friendship and sisterly love blossom like flax flowers in a meadow. What an amazing success of sorts. So many of our trials ended in failure. I kept hoping it might work, but this, this is beyond my wildest dreams. And now we know the trust Uligor. And so we're going to step outside and summon him to see what he says and actually see him because I haven't seen this one before. And so, trust Uligor and summon. Oh, so this is Uligor. Adventure Boo. Who needs adventure? With my dark magic, I will rid Vanadil of silly adventures once and for all. Mwahaha. So. He's kind of neat looking. I hadn't seen him before, so. Um, and now we'll release him. Disgusting. There's far too much fun going on around here. I'm leaving. And so that is our newest trust. So that's pretty neat. Um... All right, um, so in this video, we have completed Vastok Mission 1 1, um, the Zern Report, and we're going to go to the markets and we're going to exit. Um, And we are going to go ahead and that's where we're going to stop this video. Um, 
so it's just fast talk mission 1-1 um that is what we completed um now if you look at your rank points and your status um on your profile you'll see our bar is a little fuller um so that's what I, that's what we're getting when it says rank points as a reward is it's just filling up our little bar and so um that is bass talk mission 1-1 one -one. um like i say it's pretty self-explanatory so it's not hard um and even without a map you can do it pretty quickly so um in the next video um i'm not sure if we'll level up some or if we'll do another mission but we will see when we get there um Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next episode.